Okay. I I, I mean, I, I don't even know what's going on here. I have no clue what's going on. Let's take a look. Okay, so what this was supposed to be was, oh my goodness, look at me. I need a haircut. That's crazy. I, I can't. I look a disaster. No, really. I look a disaster. Anyway, this is our first acquisition, what we've been talking about for about since Christmas. Um, this is the kitchen right here. Um, you enter through the back of the house and we're just talking about here. What we're thinking about doing is, um, we're going to extend the kitchen cat kitchen counter to about that notch in the wall, probably right before the, yeah, right there, right where I'm tapping. We're going to extend the kitchen count in there. We're going to take that door and we're going to move that door. Let's see what this idiot's going to do. I guess he's not talking about that. This has to be the worst video ever. Anyway, you see where that fridge is? That's where the stove's going to be. Where the stove is on the wall. We're going to demo that wall. We're going to knock that wall down. And what that's going to do is that's just going to bring, um, just make the, the floor plan a little bit wider on this side. So that wall right there where the stove is, we're going to knock it out. Off to the left there, that little cranny, that's where we're going to put the fridge. This is our dining room. Um, pretty good dining, pretty good sized dining room. A lot of natural light, as you can see. Um, we're thinking about keeping that cabinet. So that wall right there that you're looking at where the built-in is, that wall is going to be removed. So the kitchen and the dining room will have a nice flow, right? Right there. Tap on it, Bobby Shakes. There you go. So once we remove that wall, I think it's just going to give it more space and also going to bring in more light because there's two light, there's two windows in the kitchen, two windows in the, in the, um, dining room, bring in more light. This right here is going to be the living room. That wall right there, I think is going to be the focus wall. We're going to paint the whole project gray, but then probably paint Then I'm going to paint that wall like a darker gray with some wood slabs, give like a little focus wall. And then that wall right there, that's where you can hang your TV. Linen closet right there. This right here, this would be the, this would be the, um, I guess the master, the primary bedroom, bedroom on the first floor, decent sized closet. Knock, knock, who's there? That bathroom is definitely something I would not shower or pee in if you dare. We're going to demo that bathroom to the scuds, to the scuds, 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 <laughs> scuds, scuds. Oh, the scud missile. Yeah, we're going to take a fucking scud missile and we're going to blow up the kitchen and the bathroom. Now we're upstairs on the second floor. This is the attic. This is bedroom number three, because it's kind of small. Shaky ass video. We're thinking about dormering out where you see those brown things on the other side. This is bedroom number two, probably the second biggest bedroom in the house. And again, we're going to dormer that wall there. You see where those closets are? That's where we're going to put a bathroom. Probably like a stand up shower, a little loo and a wash basin. So that way, if you got to spend a penny in the middle of the night, you don't have to walk downstairs. <laughs> Where that wall is right there that you're looking at, we are going to frame a closet because remember, we're going to lose a closet in the room because that's where the bathroom is going to be. And as we go to the other side, spin it around. On that wall, that is where we're going to frame the other closet. With the dormers, the live the bedroom is gonna shrink, right? 
here was here, here. Let me stop this video right here. Oh man, I can't stop it on my face like that. Jeez Louise. <laughs> let me pause it right there. Here's the issue that we're having. If you want to take, if you want to spend a penny in the middle of the night, you got to go downstairs. So you put a bathroom on the second floor. The proposed dormer is not 10 feet off the property line because all we got on the left side of the house is six feet, three inches. So the dormer that we have size right now is definitely going to be a violation. We're definitely going to have to go to the board. Take a sip. Unbelievable. So here is my dilemma. Again, if you have to spend a penny upstairs in the middle of the night, you got to go downstairs to the bathroom. So we get, we got the plans to dormer this puppy out. The problem is the dormers is not 10 feet off the next door neighbor's property line. So that's instant violation. When we add the dormers, we're going to shrink living space upstairs, people. I mean, because we're adding a bathroom. So the bathroom is going to cut into the living space upstairs. The third dilemma. The third dilemma is if we shrink the dormers, we're going to lose even more space because we're going to have to take 20 square feet off each side to make it uniform. What we could do is just have an ununiform dormer, but upstairs of this, this has been very hard to figure out. If we keep upstairs how it is, with no loo, nice living space. If we add the dormer, we're going to shrink living space and we're going to have to go to the board. If we don't want to go, if we don't want to go to the, the board, we have to shrink more living space and, and everything gets approved. I mean, it's a complete nightmare. It's a complete nightmare nightmare we have no idea what we're gonna do i do know though i am getting a haircut i'm getting a haircut because that looks terrible all right folks that's the first that's the inside look at our first acquisition gonna start demo this week and we're gonna be here every night going over what we videotaped during the day. We're going to be live streaming it. And um, if you guys got any questions, join in. Um, this bit, this is basically for people that want to get into flipping, that wants the real scoop, right? Because a lot of people say flip, get a hard money, and bada bing, bada boom, and you're off your way. Here comes the money. Here we go. Money talk. So this is the basement. What we're going to do down here is we're just going to demo the basement out, clean it up, probably sh throw down some vinyl flooring and just call it a day. Clean up all that mess on the, on the wall, throw all that stuff out, throw new windows in it. Ooh, spooky. <laughs> All right, folks, that's basically it. That was the first, that, that is a sneak peek of our first transaction, our first acquisition, our first flip. Um, we closed on Friday. We're very, very, very excited. Um, we're very confused of what the hell to do upstairs. We're going to make a final decision by Sunday night, what we're going to do, start demo on Tuesday, Hopefully Monday, if we could get the um, if we could get the dumpster in, and uh, just just start this project. But the the dormer 
is something that's been a really pain in the katush. And uh, we're going to have to work through it. We're going to have to figure it out. Um, we have one more day. We've been thinking about this dormant since December 23rd. is when we first saw the property. That's when we first got everything in Molson, which was Christmas Eve. So now we're almost three, four months in, and it's almost March. We just have to make a decision of what we're going to do because now the clock is ticking. The financing is ticking every single day. The interest rate just keep on going up. So we have to make a decision. Um, cheers, mate. We're going to get it done.